Welcome to the Brave Talk Show, Brave Woman, Bold Topic, and Nothing Off the Table. So today, we are going to learn about the three different mom type mm. and tra- types. And you guys can Mel. tell me if you are. Is, <laughs> is, is, you know, you know, is, is there a milk? You would say that. <laughs> Silky, crunchy, or milk. scrunchy. <laughs> scrunchy. Scrunchy. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so. Silky, the things are some of the things that silky mom do. It's like have medicated birth in a hospital setting, okay. formula feed, bottle feed, crib sleeping, cry it out method, use disposable di- disposable diapers, follow medical advice on things such as vaccini- vaccinations and, you know, sometimes works outside the home. Okay? And so that's, kind of, that's the thick of that. That's silky. Okay. And then you have the... Crunchy mom. Are you guys ready? Okay. They have a natural Just birth, natural. a meditated birth, possibly at home, essentially breastfeed, cloth diaper. They always carry the baby. They don't do vaccination. They don't circumcise the boys. Absolutely no co sleeping. Makes their own baby food. Homeschool. <laughs> you talk about that. Follow a particular Everybody's diet. Me, yeah. <laughs> we already know. We the crunchy one. I know. Yeah. This is Dope milk maker. <laughs> and then oh, scrunchy is kind of like you in the middle. Like you do some close sleeping, you do this. And so this is a thing that this day and age is talking about is what kind of mom are you? Wait, what's the third one? Scrunchy, scrunchy. which is scrunchy. like Silky together. Crunchy. Together. And so mm-hmm. it's more like, you know, it's you make friends. It's harder to make friends. Like you just, where do you guys feel like you fall in? There's more to the list and I can read it, but I just want to see before I, I feel going. like I'm a hybrid of milk. <laughs> of course, you are. I'm just kidding, of course you are. I'm a salty, crunchy milk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I put on my cake profile. Oh, okay, okay, so why don't you give a rundown of like where are you silky, where are you crunchy? Okay. Yes, yes, we already I feel like we're all in the middle. We're all in the middle. So, okay. But I wanna that's why I want to know the details. Like where exactly, where are you like a little bit more. Like yeah. what is it that I you say that you're a little more silky than no, me mean, and I'm a little crunchy. Yeah, maybe. Let's we'll find out. We'll okay. get the list. Yeah. Make the list. Let's do a tally. We can have a little yeah. tally on like which which one you're in. Okay, well, let's start here. Okay. Um, <laughs> medicated birth. Go around the circle, yes or no? No. Oh, actually, I take that back. Mine was a C-section. You can't get any more silky than yeah, that. That's... But I promise you, it was a, it was emergency. I would not have wanted it that way. But was I it your plan? It wasn't my plan, and I had to. That's it's me, too. You, too? For a C-section. So I didn't yeah, um, I've done both. I prefer non-medicated. My first four were all unmedicated, mm-hmm. and then my last one, I got an epidural. Nice. What's your preference? Um, they were all beautiful experience. Well, my first one was not a beautiful experience. I just ran around screaming for three hours. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can understand. You don't get, you've never done this before. No, right. What the yeah, heck's going on? Um, that's a funny story in itself. But I feel like I wouldn't change any of my birthing experiences. They really were beautiful and sacred to me. And even the last one with Vera, I loved the epidural. I was yeah. like, oh, hey, yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I should have done this again. Yeah. I should have done this once. Yeah. I love that you actually went from crunchy to silky. Like, mm-hmm. you don't really see like see that. Typically, like, the story is I was silky, then I went crunchy. And, like, you actually, yeah. on, on that side, were like, yeah, let's try medication this time. I, That's more my personality. Like, I want to try everything. Yeah. 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 I, I went from it. medicated to not medicated. Mm-hmm. That's usually okay. how you hear, yeah. you hear about it. Okay, so go on. So now we got the medication. Okay, um, co-sleeping. I co-slept with three out of four of my baby. My first one was uh, silky. Like, I was, you need to be in your own crib, cry it out. Like, you need to be on a scheduled nap time, like, all of that. And I, it was disastrous. And after that, I was like, I'm never going to do that again. So mm-hmm. then I switched to the other side. And then it was like, co-sleeping, <laughs> and, and I'll carry you. Okay, and silky. Yeah, silky and I went crunchy right. on my other babies. Okay, yeah, I'm a close sleeper. I value my sleep. Yeah, you just nurse the baby right there. Exactly. You go to sleep, baby's just nursing. I and my kids it. always transition easy. I don't know why, but they transition out of it when it's time. Yeah. It's like, it this. takes three days, ladies and gentlemen. You're ready to have that baby out of your bed? Baby boot camp takes three days. And then I, like, I don't even do three days. It's like, yeah. okay. You, so it was Kurigi still in your bed? Yeah. He's, he's a breastfeeder. He he loves the, the He just milks all night long. He loves the boobs. He skipped to the night, but he was, was the boobs. silkiest. <laughs> bum, bum, baby bum. I was baby wise to a I was baby wise to my first. Yeah. I think I can actually the first time Dubs, who's three now, has ever slept in my bed ever was two oh. weeks ago. Wow. 
And how many is he now? He's three. That's the first and only time Good I've ever seen him. And probably all my kids combined, not even a number of ten times. Wow. Like if they were so ever on it, if I ever took them to my bed to breastfeed, I would take them back. Right. But I mm-hmm. would just breastfeed them in their chair up there. But um, yeah. But if you did, I, bre- but if you did the, bre- the baby wise method, you're not supposed to nurse them to sleep. You're supposed to nurse yeah. them until they're like oh, almost right. they're like tired. And yeah. Then you put them so in the most of the time, I sleep. wouldn't nurse <laughs> them to sleep. Right. But there were times, obviously. Hold on. You're desperate. You feed them until they like what they they get sleepy, sleep. oh. and then you put them well, in their bed and, and, and you're supposed to self sleep wake cycle. So I've never I've never rocked my baby to sleep. I've never driven them and around in a car to get them to go to sleep. And I'm not going to say never because I'm sure a few times, but I wouldn't nurse my kids to sleep. If they mm-hmm. fell asleep, I would wake them up. That's that's the baby. That's, they have a wake time, time and then they go yeah. to put themselves. And, and it worked for have... me. My kids still sleep. But I'm so like, sorry. I am so sorry. Like, she's so crunchy. Literally... She's like, this is a call. No, yeah. I, I just, I'm trying to understand. Maybe I, I my kids are a little spoiled. So you literally spin the routine. You read this book, and you have to stick to this like yes. way of things every day, every single. I mean, night. it's a it's, default. It's, it's not like, did you do that? Okay, so here's my thing. <laughs> like, I co-slept with my first one till nine months old. Yeah. And when we got, when we sleep trained her, it changed my life. I got my marriage back. Like, I got my mental health back. Yeah. Months yeah. With her because I was just up all night with her. She, and she had so many problems, like so much reflux. Colic and, and stuff. Colic and all of the things, right? So all of my babies have reflux. And so the first two months, we, they sleep on my chest. Um... But with Vera, this time, I had several people tell me about baby wipes. Robin was one of them. Mm-hmm. And so I did it with Vera after she got a little better. So we slept with her for the first couple months on her chest on the couch. And then when she got better, we started doing the sleep-wake cycle. And it actually it doesn't feel hard. It's, it's, it's more of a routine. Like mm-hmm. It's more natural. Like The baby eats. And then they're awake and, and they, they play, play and then they and then they're tired and they, they go to sleep on their own. Like yeah. Vera is by far my best sleeper. Yeah, my <laughs> kids will sleep twelve hours still to this day. They don't wake up in the middle of the night. They don't come in my room. I swear by it. And it sounds like it's like this gummy I, thing. Like yeah. I actually bought fifty copies of the book <laughs> and gave them out to everyone who had a baby because I swore by it. But it's not like I wouldn't leave the house during nap time. Like I still had tons of freedom, but. It's basically just saying that your baby has to learn to work with your scientifically family. how to fall asleep on its own. Yeah. And, and, if you, and if on the you boob. are giving them a boob or a binky or driving them in a car, or you're going to be like, sorry, I have to drive around and my baby's fall asleep. I'm like, just put them in there in your crib. Yeah. Like, people build patterns and then the baby starts to govern the family. Yeah. And so it's all about like just having an ecosystem that works yeah, for it's everyone. A, it's and mine worked thing. great. So I for me, it, I was the, I probably had postpartum. I will, you know, say that, but I did baby wise with my first and I, I was too, I was very, I was like religiously rigid to it and it actually caused more problems for me. Uh, and I got to a place where I actually was like, I can't do this book anymore because it's, it's making me neurotic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so I actually have, I have, I had a mommy blog, blog back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's actually a blog somewhere in the internet of me holding the baby wise book above the trash can. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere out there. Um, what I ended up switching to, because I wasn't ready with, with that child yet to go all crunchy like I did with my other ones, but I ended up switching to this other philosophy. It was similar to Baby Wise, but I felt like it gave me more flexibility. And she was called The Baby Whisperer. Oh, she actually passed away from breast cancer, I think, years ago. But her book was called The Baby Whisperer, and it had some Baby Wise things to it, but it wasn't as rigid. It was more yeah. full of flexibility, and I really liked that one. So that's what I switched to with my first, and then mm-hmm. the other ones I yeah. just... I, I don't know. My kid's always been great sleeper. Like, Craig, you bring him home, he sleeps through the night. Like, he feeds, and then, like, That's great. I know how people, like, he just, every one of my kids, like, they just sleep awesome. through the night. Craig, you take three nights, naps during the day right now, which is why, you know, we're oh, home. Cool sleeper. Yeah, yeah, so he wakes up, and then he has a 9 o'clock, 9, 9.30, he'll sleep for two hours till 11. So I work, and then he wakes up. We play, and then we eat his lunch, and then he does another nap at 1 till 3. It's like the perfect child. And then child. we play, mm-hmm. and then, like, at, like, 5 till 7, he'll do one. Then he'll do his little dinner, and then, like, 9.30, he's tired again. Like, I, I feel like, so does I don't have Does he sleep in the bed with you, though, through the night? Yeah. How does that affect your sex life? We schedule a sex life. I'm telling you. It's like, it happens. I yeah. love it. Because as long as you make it work. Yeah. 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 And I've heard a lot of women who have 
kids co sleep with them, their sex life really plummets. I think that because they're they, relying on well, like, going in the to bed, bed to have yeah. sex, but it's like nobody you can do it during the day. Right. I think that's but you have to be. I think or you have to be mindful or intentional. And the thing is, we already busy schedule anyway. On top of it, like we've never scheduled before, but I think like because for us, it's not not just having a baby. We both are like busy you know and so it's like we have to like be intentional with our sex life sometimes mm-hmm. does it happen like you know spontaneously like the kids are playing downstairs in the basement and it's like hey and it's like oh yeah like you know but like it's like we have to be more mindful of like yeah. right. which to me i had to because we weren't doing it all the time anyway so it's right. like i had to like, and i think your personality yeah. handles that type of thing yeah. better where you're yeah. like i'm not gonna let the baby control me that's me yeah, That's perfect. So yeah. I think I think that fits you really well. Yeah. Where you're able to balance it really well. Where you're like, yeah, I can co sleep, and it doesn't own me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes, yeah. and that's exactly how I would say it. Because it can work for some people. It doesn't work for me. It's kind of like that. Like when I first had baby, I'm like, you're coming into my life. I am not uprooting my life to make a child like yeah. on their schedule. Like right. this is our life, and you part of it, and you got it. Yeah. See that was the me. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have a yeah. friend who um, she slept in her parents' bed. Up through high school. What? No, no, <gasps> that's wrong. That I know. Is wrong. And that crazy? Like, kind of wrong. I remember when she told me, and she was like, "Yeah," and she like acting like it was no big deal. And I'm sitting there like trying to hold my jaw like close, to, like not be like, "I can't judge. I can't." I actually judge. okay. I I actually have some family members that allow their children to still sleep in their room, and they're in junior high, high school. They might sleep on the floor, but every single night, I'm like, yeah. you ain't the family bed, bed, right? We have teenagers in as a teen. That's weird. So I that's think weird. that's kind of wrong. It's yeah, so they, funny because I'm sitting here thinking as we're discussing silky and granola or crunchy and everything, I'm like, there's no right or wrong way. Like, yeah. 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 And then she went to the high school. Yeah. 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 And you're like, that's, that's wrong. Right. Right. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Or, or the, like, nursing your baby till they're eight. That's wrong. Thing, right? Okay, so we have a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go through this. Let's America. take yes or no. Where are you guys at? I heard some other countries that make food. Let's make the nurse. Let's say that. Yeah. Some for us, it's a lot. Culturally, some people. We don't need to nurse our babies till they're eight because we don't live in an impoverished right. world where they don't have any food. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the last thing, let's everyone go around and I want you to state what you are and give a quick like One. 10 second like proclamation. Okay. <laughs> I'm crunchy. Crunchy. Or wait, wait, what, what was the word? That scrunchy. Was scrunchy. No, I think, I, well. Silky? Are, are you 90, 90, you're 90% crunchy, 10% I think silky. I'm 90% crunchy and 10% silky. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I can With the goats, I milk my goats, <laughs> we drink the goats milk. Yeah. Like, I do do disposable diapers. I do see um, you to 90%. But crunchy. I think for the most part, I'm pretty, yeah, pretty crunchy. I'd agree. Um, I am not a 90 to 10 ratio like Brit, but I am more crunchy than Silky because I did homeschool out of choice. I love, if I could do that, I would pull my kids out of the public school system mm-hmm. right now. Like, I love the idea of homeschooling and children to be free and run and, um, that's like the ideal. Uh, yeah, I, I the ideal, but it's just not realistic mm. for me right now as a single mom. I love a medicated birth. I've done both. If I were to ever have more children, in fact, it's so funny because wait, is this the door that's open? No, more children. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it's still the uterus. But, um, you're not you not on the plan. or anything like that. No, I'm not. Okay, but like I have had this recent as- obsession. Like I almost like maybe want to be a midwife or something. Oh. I love things on Instagram of like w- like I follow all these natural doula pages. Like if you, you would be such a you good if you go to like my for you page, it's almost the doula every girl. single woman giving birth. Like it looks weird, but like. Hey, baby, I'm just your fetus. I love like babies. It's, it's just babies. Or like babies. Bill cords or I'm obsessed with that, that right wow. now. Like I'm literally like, maybe I should be a Kadula. Maybe you should. I think I should. Anyway, so I'm really crunchy with that, but I am super silky with the sleep schedule. So I'm gonna say I'm a more crunchy crunch, but I've got I've got silky in me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm more of a, like, the scrunchy because I do breastfeed all my kids, and they've always just latch on forever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. You got the cream, girl. I guess. And then um, I am, yeah, like, I feel like I got a little bit of silky and a little bit of crunchy. So I'm in the middle. I'm going to give it, like, a 50-50. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I feel like I'm a scrunchy, too. Um like, you know, baby wearing, um, you know, breast, I, I, I ideally wanted to breastfeed all my kids. I couldn't because some of my kids had latch issues and I had to work 
And so I had to bring in formula, but like, even with my daughter, I actually used donated breast milk with her because I was able to find somebody and that way she stayed breast milk even when I had to work. Um, so I feel like that's like my crunchy side. I, I, with fully vaxxed my first son. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about um, vaccination. Yeah. yeah, and then each kid, I kind of did less and less and less. All of them are vaccinated to a degree, but my first is the one that's got like he had like everything done, and then the other ones it was like, oh, we'll do this, but not this, you know, kind of a thing. Um, but um, and then I, I had to work, but again, like I didn't want to, I didn't want to, but I kind of had to, and so yeah, some of it's just a you know kind of circumstance, but I think in my soul. And like my spirit of spirit, I'm crunchy. crunchy. Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent But then, you know, <laughs> just certain things, yeah. things like so, that have yeah. led me to bring some silky in there. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Well, we want to know what you guys think. You are leave us comments, reviews, tag us on Instagram, and message us because it's really important. We got to know what you are. So, yeah. thanks for listening, guys. Tune into our next show, and we'll see you on the crunchy other side. <laughs>